Here's something interesting. You see the red tips? That's what the this lime tree's buds, leaf buds, not flower buds. They flower in the middle of the summer. But these are like matchsticks. And they come away as the leaf emerges. That leaf has been eaten by somebody. But each one of these leaves has this little matchstick that covers the leaf. Here you can see one that has not emerged yet. You see right there. So that is a leaf bud, not a bloom, a flower bud for the lime, but a leaf bud. You can see there is another one as the leaves emerge and the ground beneath is littered. This web has caught a lot of the little matchsticks as they were, as if they were kind of, that were the protectors, the coverings of this lime tree's leaves. It's a beautiful limey color, this lime tree, a lime green. But you can see here, there are the little matchstick coverings that protect the buds of the leaves. Oh, here's a very good one that shows exactly how it um, emerges. And that, see, it'll just come away. It'll just come away as the leaves emerge. So, a little tiny beauty of spring. Care of a lime tree, this beautiful, magnificent tree. Beech trees, their leaves have a kind of fish-like scaly sheath so that when the leaves emerge, these fall to the floor. Here you can see these beautiful beech tree leaves. Those will fall now because the leaves have emerged. They're so soft. They're so beautifully soft and light, but they look beautiful here. You can see they're emerging and they look like fish scales. And then they all fall down. You can see here on these holly leaves. So those are the beech tree leaf bud protectors. This is the ash tree. You can see its leaves aren't coming out quite yet. They're only just emerging. Their bud protectors are these things here. That's, this is a leaf bud protector. So they're kind of like armored tulips. Do you see how they're, or sheep's claws. They're very protective. Ash buds are very protected because they've got a double protection. They have this black sheath thing here, and then they have this here. Those are both protecting the leaves as they emerge from the ash tree. Here you can see these leaves haven't emerged yet, but these ones have, and these ones are going to be, whoops. So there, those leaves are emerging there of the ash tree. This is the horse chestnut. The candelabras are out and the leaves are out. And the leaf protectors are these things that are really, really sticky. They're like covered in honeyness and sweetness. And insects love eating the honey-like substance. So that's the leaf protectors from the horse chestnut. Most of their leaves have emerged, so their leaf protectors have all fallen on the floor, on the ground. But the cats and dogs, when these are falling off initially, they get caught into, in the hairs of the animals and they lick them out. 
You can see, look at how sticky that is. These are very, very sticky. Anyway, the horse chestnut are now almost in full leaf. This is witch hazel. These are from their blooms earlier in the spring. And they have this kind of creamy leaf protector. Their leaves are almost fully emerged now. But they've got, it's kind of like a mouse ear. So if lime trees are matchsticks, beech trees are fish scales, ash tree are like sheep hooves, horse chestnuts are sticky. I guess witch hazels, they're like mouse ears. They're like sticky mouse ears. So these are them right there, the leaf protectors, the bud leaf protectors.